I have yet to learn more about the monk lifestyle, their wisdom and lessons, but having scratched just the surface, I cannot contain my excitement to share with you all what I think we all need to implement into our daily life as soon as possible. But more simplicity, focus, concentration, calm and peace and feel more aligned with ourselves. Smile, breathe and go slowly is the simplest way to dissolve the monk wisdom within you, but we will dive in a little deeper. Here's the step-by-step -step instruction because despite people's hate for manuals, people need instructions to begin acting. After parties then and before my guests leave my home, they typically attempt to help me clean up everything and I always refuse their help, asking them to just leave it all to me because I learned to enjoy the process of cleaning up the mess. Rule number one, do one thing at a time. The after party mess is intimidating. You do not even know where to begin cleaning. This is where this rule comes in very, very handy. Gather up only dirty napkins first, then only used up cups, then only cans, then only dirty cutlery, then only dishes. With every next step you do, you do only that one separate act. Doing only one thing at a time brings an immense amount of pleasure and progress. Try this rule with anything else in your life and you won't believe how easy almost everything starts coming together. It makes me angry how we fool ourselves and make our lives so complicated by trying to multitask. Do it slowly and completely. Don't rush the task. Take your time and make your actions deliberate. If you're preparing yourself a meal, don't start eating it until you finish making it. Put it on your plate, clean up the countertops and put everything away and only then sit down like a royal and enjoy your first bite in a clean, peaceful environment, focusing on it fully. Avoid the rat race rhythm by putting space between your to-dos. Do not schedule tasks too close together. Leave room between things just like minutes, maybe half an hour on your schedule to be able to stop and breathe. Collect your thoughts and energy for the next step in your day. Acknowledge the already done tasks with gratitude, slowly and mindfully move on to the next. Leave enough time when you can stop, take your shoes and socks off and walk on grass for a few minutes before running to your parked car. Stretch a little before your next meeting. Look out the window and think of your close ones before diving back into a busy work day. These little steps recharge our soul and mind throughout the day. Develop rituals. Location has energy. Time has memory. If you do something at the same time every day, it becomes easier and natural. If you do something in the same space every day, it becomes natural and easy. It's not that you can't wake up in the morning, it's just that you never feel that ritual of waking up earlier with enough meaning for yourself. Don't just get up from your bed and rush to the bathroom, for example. Make it a mindful ritual of slowly stretching and breathing in on your bed. Slowly ground in your feet and feel the energy throughout your whole body. Don't just inhale your food as you run out the door. Think of every bite. Enjoy it. Smell it. Feel gratitude for the food you're eating. As you fold clean laundry, fold it with gratitude for it. Far from everyone on this planet has the privilege of wearing freshly washed clothes smelling like the breeze of ocean. Acknowledge this and make mindful rituals of everything you do in your daily life. We are all privileged in our own way, so acknowledging it and being grateful for it is the least we can do. Serve others. According to statistics, receiving gifts is far less satisfying than giving gifts. Remember the words of the Lord Jesus himself, it is better to give than to receive. This wisdom repeats itself amongst many other practices. Being useful to others and donating your time with love to others is rewarding to your soul and mind. It wins friendships and serves as an example of true human connections and nobility. It truly humbles us and enriches us. It's not always convenient to give your time to others when asked unexpectedly. Make it easier for yourself and extend your offer first to set your mind to it before you're even asked a favor. Monks don't have closets full of clothes, shoes, cabinets full of junk food. They have 
basics. Rid your life of as many unnecessary and unessential things as you can to make room for the essential. For me personally, the essential is my spiritual and mind growth, exercising, reading and journaling, my family and our relationships, and the ability to dedicate time to seeing beyond my family members. Watch my other videos to see how to go about that process. We talk a lot about mindfulness, how to talk to yourself. It is a process that is unbelievably satisfying, rewarding, and addicting. Embrace simplicity, cultivate patience, and let go of attachment. This pretty much summarizes everything we just talked about. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Keep feeding your brain and soul throughout the week, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye, everyone. Mwah.